this isn't my usual video, but I couldn't find this online, so here I am posting it. Uh, undervolting the 5090, specifically the Founders Edition. You're going to open up MSI Afterburner. See, we're at the stock settings here. I haven't touched anything. You're just going to go into Curve Editor. It's going to bring this up. Now, what I'm going to show you is an example of a 2.5 gigahertz at 900 millivolts, or some people will call that 0.9 volts undervolt here. But if you see something on Reddit of people doing other undervolts, the process is the same. You're just going to shift the values. So for ours, we're going to go to 900 millivolts down here, find the point on the graph, hold down shift, click, and drag up to as close as we can get to 2500 on the left hand side. And now we're going to release everything. Hold down shift again, click to the right of this point above it, drag, get everything to the right of it, release shift, and release the mouse. Now you're going to click again anywhere on one of these points to the right, drag it all the way down, and hit apply. Now you're done. You can hit save to profile one. Now when you click profile one and apply, it's loaded. Check this up here, it'll apply at startup. This particular one will get you, you know, 6% less frames running at about 400 watts. Now, silicon lottery, it might not be stable. You'll have to play with it. But this worked out of the box for me. It works out of the box for a lot of people. Some people will try to get some performance back by going plus 1000. I've seen I've seen as high as plus 2000 on the memory. You know, this memory runs hot and I'm not made out of money. So, if you want to take the risk of, you know, higher memory temperatures, you know, artifacting a couple years down the line, greater chance, you know, be my guest, but I think it's fine just the way it is. But that's quick and dirty, and you can apply that to, you know, higher undervolts, you know, 2.7 at 960, 2.3 at 875, whether or not you want, you know, more performance or to err on the side of caution with these wonderful connectors that NVIDIA has designed. That's pretty much all there is to it.